Does any of that look familiar, Jim? Well, we are here in Linfield, Oregon for your Hall of Fame induction, and uh, we're wondering where you are. But we just wanted to wish you congratulations and let you know how proud we are of you about this huge accomplishment. And we wish you all the best, and we're very proud of you. Hey, Jim. Jim. I love some coffee. That would be great. Where are you? Hey, could I, could I get rid of the coconut cake? Must be first class? Uh, uh huh, in the front row. I know. Hi, Liam. No, just swap it out with something. Limfield sweatshirt. We have Marcy. Proud mom. We have sister. We have Denise. We have Doug. We have Dawn. That's all right. I know where your mouth's been. Brian. 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 What about um, Jim and how you know him? Well, uh, Jim and I came in at the, uh, the same year. and Which was? Uh, in 1979. Okay. So we were freshmen together. We played, you know, uh, all four years together. And why we have such a close relationship is that I was the center. Okay. Uh, and Jim was the nose guard. So we uh, played against each other uh, every day in practice for four years. It ended up uh, our career as national championships and All-Americans. And now I was inducted in the Hall of Fame last year and now Jim this year. So we uh, had uh, a great career and, and we made each other better. And we, uh, we always have that uh, that bond and, and still t stay in touch to, through uh you know, through today, so it's uh, it's very exciting to have Jim getting inducted to the Hall of Fame today. Any great story or a fond memory or? Well, I think the you know just the the career that we had. I think it, you know over the four years we played together, we only lost uh, four regular season games, had the national championship. So you know, there's a lot of uh, great memories uh, both on the field and off. You know, we did a small school and a very close uh, relationship uh, with with our core group and, and uh, so nothing you know that stands out but we have uh, you know a lot of just you know great memories that uh, we can take with us for the rest of our lives. Hey Jim congratulations on your induction to, to the Linfield Hall of Fame. We're proud of you. You deserve it. Uh, I was there for the uh, game in 80, 1982 and you won the national championship well, that was very exciting. It was I was in graduate school at the time, got to tell all my friends about my famous brother, and here you are famous again, you got the girls all around you as usual, and uh, we're going to enjoy the ceremony, I'm, I'm interested in how you're going to receive your award here and give your speech, I'm anxious to see how you pull this one off. We're at Linfield College for um, Jim's induction at the Hall of Fame, and we're very proud of him, and excited that uh, we were all able to come, to come up. What it was like um, playing on a football team with Jim? It was always good with Jim. You never knew what to expect, but you always got the best from him. And not so much the football, but he was a great guy off the field. Uh, always fun, always fun loving, great comrade. Uh, cannonball, if you said cannonball, that was Jim. That what does that mean? Name. I don't know, but he would be running around going, cannonball! <laughs> and so everybody knew that was time to go. Um, tenacious person, tenacious athlete, always gave his best. Yeah. 100% and just a really good guy, really loyal, always there if you need him. Just a real good guy. Exciting to be here tonight. For yeah, sure. great to see him. I haven't seen Jim in five years, I think. Last time I saw him was down in Malibu. He took me to lunch. How do you know Jim? I mean... Oh, we, we met when we were freshmen. Um, yeah? Coming in, first time we ever played. Um, what was your position? Oh, we are both nose guards. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're kind of like... Um, uh, it was when we first met, it was pretty interesting. I'm from Hawaii. He was from California, coming to a little, you know, town in McMinnville. It was, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. You know, getting to know each other, so uh, you kind of, you kind of just mesh together, you know, mm -hmm. the Linfield experience. Uh huh. Yeah, and anything stand out in your mind? Favorite memory of Jim or? Uh, I don't know. We're we're pretty good buddies. We kind of um, just kind of mesh together really quickly. I don't know. Yeah. Played for how many years? Did you guys play together? All, all four all years. Four years. All right, must have been awesome. fantastic. Oh yeah, we're we're roommates at one time too. That's great. <laughs> good, good. Jim's a fun guy. Yo, he's, he's awesome. Yeah. Well, we are certainly wishing him grass congratulations today, big day. For oh him. yeah, congratulations, a big day. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. How, how do you know Jim? Well, uh, Jim was a wayward soul from Southern Cal that came to Linfield, lost and uh, kind of overwhelmed by this massive. Uh, school and all this facility. nature oh nature 
Great uh, weather. He came in with a beautiful tan. I remember the first day he had the uh, the Southern Cal long hair, good looks. I thought he was Italian. <laughs> Funny. Oh yeah. 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 But we uh, we uh, spent four great years together playing uh, here and in Europe. So we and were, Europe. So you played in Europe with him. Yeah, Bologna. Bologna. B O L O G N A. He talks about that very fondly. Oh, we. He actually went over the first year uh, and did and actually won the Super Bowl. And uh, then we went back and played for another team and weren't so successful, but we had a great time. What made him such a great football player? Uh, his heart, uh, his speed, his strength, his desire, and he just loved the game. He, uh, he loved putting a hurt on the guy across from him. <laughs> and he did it well. Oh, so, we are certainly glad to be here and wish him Yeah, uh, it's a great honor. It's been a pleasure knowing Jim all these years. We've been close. Uh, wish we could see each other more. We both live in Southern Cal, but we don't see each other near enough. But uh, it's a great accomplishment for him. Uh, wear it well. Uh, you deserve it. Tonight's next inductee into the Linfield Athletics Hall of Fame is Jim Winston of the class of 1983. He is regarded as one of the top defensive football players ever to wear the Purple and Cardinal at Linfield. As a senior, Winston was a key member of Linfield's 1982 NAIA National Championship team. In the title game, he had three tackles as the Wildcats defeated William Jewell of Missouri, 33-15. Playing defensive guard, Winston was greatly recognized for his play during the championship season. He was selected as an NAIA First Team All-American and an Associated Press Little All-American, and was chosen as a Wildcats best defensive player. Winston was one of 16 athletes nominated for the Oregon Amateur Athlete of the Year Award. In addition to the national championship team, Winston was a member of two Northwest Conference Championship programs in 1980 and 1982. Today, he still stands as the Wildcats' all-time single-season leader in yards from sacks and the career leader in yards from tackles for loss. In total, he ranks among the top 10 in 12 different statistical defensive categories. After graduation, Winston played for the Bologna Warriors of the Italian Football League from 1984 until 1986. He helped his team reach the Italian Super Bowl his first year overseas. Winston currently owns his own video production service and lives in Rolling Hills, California with his 12-year-old son, Liam. Presenting Jim Winston for induction into the Linfield Athletics Hall of Fame is his college coach, Pat Fletcher. Uh, 
skis. He has a, a, a seat built on a ski board and then uses skis on both arms. And according to ski slopes, he beats everybody down the hill at Whistler. <laughs> he's first down the hill. Uh, today he's totally independent, raises his son, runs his own business, which is one tech video. He rents cameras, video equipment to uh, TV shows, to commercial for commercials, for training video. Big day for you. 
congratulations, and we'll see you at home. <laughs> hey, uh, Jim, uh, we're so mom and I are so proud of you. Uh, as we are all of our children, we're blessed to have two wonderful boys and a wonderful girl in, in, in Elizabeth. And uh, it seems like yesterday when you came, I brought you up here and uh, we met Mike Riley and, and Ad Rutschman. And I remember Ad Rutschman telling you that day that, Jim, if you came here, we would win the national championship before you left. And uh, my gosh, you, you did. And uh, you met Steve and you met all these friends that have been interviewed tonight. And you'll, this will be with you the rest of your life. We're very, very proud of you. Congrats, Dad. I'm so proud of you. Um, I know this means a lot to you. I'm so proud that you got to make it this far. Um, I'm just so proud of you. What do you think about him where he went to college? Well, I love this place. It's so beautiful. I love the rain. I love how the leaves fall off the trees. It's just so colorful. Everyone's so nice in the town. It's just probably just a great place to go to college. Maybe I'll go there someday. When, when something like this happens, you get a chance to reflect on crazy things. And mm -hmm. it's it, to be honest with you, I didn't know what I'd think about when this happened. But uh, you think about some neat things and, and the kinship that we had as a team mm -hmm. um, is the first thing I think about. Mm -hmm. I was an average player. Mm -hmm. I played on a really good team. <laughs> Therefore, I got a lot of accolades. Just happened to be the quarterback of that team. Uh -huh. But uh, I think of guys like Jim, who is the heart and soul of our defense. Mm -hmm. um, the offensive lineman that kept me upright for 12 weeks. Um, those are the things that I think about first and foremost. And again, the success stories that have come on from our team and gone on to be successful in life, individuals, uh, it's just amazing what people have done coming from this little place, this little piece of life in Oregon. And I think it's something we'll never forget. What made Jim a good um, football player? Unbelievable heart, unbelievable passion. Um, Jim was a guy that Maybe in practice you wouldn't notice because he wasn't a big guy. Mm -hmm. But on game day when the lights came on, nobody played with more heart and nobody played with more passion. And he was all, well, it was like three or four Jim Winston's. <laughs> I mean, he was everywhere. And again, he, like I say, he was the heart and soul of our team because of the energy that he brought. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. What was it like to have Jim on your team? He was, uh, he was an inspirational player because he was always happy, always smiling, had a positive attitude, and he had a motor that just wouldn't stop. He, would, he, he would, wouldn't slow down. In fact, uh, people nicknamed him the cannonball, you know, because they couldn't slow him down on anything. I've heard that from a couple of the guys. Yeah. He said when he'd sack a quarterback, he'd scream that out. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Um, anything else about Jim or about being here tonight with, with him celebrating this night? Well, I'll tell you something. It's just pretty special because uh, he brings back so many memories, you know, with our, our championship teams. Uh, we had an awful good run when uh, when he was here. I, I don't know how many losses, but it wasn't very, wasn't very many.